Hey everyone, it's Argonaut here from Return of the Fan, and uh, got an article about Chris Pratt, um, and again, the woke cancel culture mob is out to get him again, um, they've been out to get him for a while, because why? Because he's Christian, he's a white male, he's successful, and um, for some reason, um, he didn't go to support Joe Biden at some time, even though he wasn't invited to go along to where he was supposed to go. People took issue with that as well. He's never talked about his politics. He's never given anyone any reason to think that he is um, better than anyone else. He's a very humble person, as far as I can see. Um, and again, the woke left mob is trying to cancel him again. So let's have a look at um, what's happened. So Hollywood superstar Chris Pratt recently found himself in the middle of yet another pathetic cancellation attempt after the woke and easily offended cancel culture mob took issue with an Instagram post he shared last week. What could have been so bad that um, people want to go out and cancel him? Did he, say, did he want someone to die? Did he want to go out and do bad things to people? Hmm, let's have a look at what he said. Guys, for real, look at how she's looking at me. I mean, find you somebody that looks at you like that, wrote Pratt last Tuesday of his wife, Catherine Schwarzenegger. You know, we met in church. She's given me an amazing life, a gorgeous, healthy daughter. She she chews so loudly that sometimes I put in my earbuds to drown it out, but that's love. Okay? No talk about killing anyone. No talk about doing any bad things to anyone. Just saying loving things about his wife, which is really cool. Um, saying nice things about his gorgeous healthy daughter that's a phrase which has been around for so long right I'm an oldie and I've heard that phrase many many times so um, the actor continued she helps me with everything and in, in return periodically I open a jar of pickles that's the trade her heart is pure and it belongs oh man that man that must be really turning the feminists um, in their grave in a big way right um, she does everything and he just t opens a jar of pickles. I'm sure it's not like that actually, but he's just saying something like that. Her heart is pure and it belongs to me, my greatest treasure right now, right next to my Ken Griffney Jr. Upper Deck rookie card, which if you know, you know is saying a lot. It's her birthday in about six weeks. If I don't get her anything, I'll tell her to look back on this post. Love you, honey. Seems like a pretty normal thing that any husband might say to their loving wife to say thank you and so on and she does look pretty lovingly at Chris Pratt so that's pretty awesome um, so let's have a look at why all the woke left hards got up in arms and they're trying to cancel him the woke mob <laughs> claimed that Pratt's lordy of Schwarzenegger and thanking her for giving him a healthy daughter was disrespectful to both ex-wife Anna Ferris and son Jack Pratt to provide further context, Pratt's son Jack was born two months premature in August of 2012 and this led to a series of health complications. I am pretty sure he is not saying this as any um, disregard to his son or his ex-wife because I'm sure he loves his son very dearly knowing um, the guy that he is and that he's a Christian person. Sometimes you might say something which isn't the best way of putting it, although what he said, a um, gorgeous healthy daughter is, is a pretty common saying, but of course the woke people always take things the wrong way. All right, Don't need to get up in arms. He might not have said something that should be the way that you wanted it to be said, but it doesn't mean what you're trying to mean. You have no idea what he was thinking when he actually said that. E! Online reports that Ferris opened up about her son's health struggles in an episode of her podcast, Unqualified, saying Jack had a few surgeries, he had a few hernia surgeries, he's had a few eye surgeries, and he had a little heart issue as well. When Jack was born two months early, it came as a huge shock, and suddenly your world completely shifts, the actress continued. The doctors and nurses that helped us and surrounded us were so unbelievably supportive that it inspired Chris and I and my parents to all get involved in this. That is, sounds pretty um, amazing what his son had to go through and I really hope that his son is all better now um, and has overcome all his health problems and so on. Even though Chris um, is not married to um, Anna Faris anymore, 
I'm sure he still loves his son just as much. Unsurprisingly, Pratt's recent Instagram post did not bode well with social justice war- they should be social justice revengers because that's all they are. They're not warriors, they're not fighting for anything, they're just trying to get revenge on people. Social justice revengers, that's what we should call them. Who interpreted the message as a dig at Ferris over her inability to give him a healthy son. It wasn't a dig, it's a very common saying, but of course these people always try to take things out the wrong the wrong way. In the wake of the backlash, the Tomorrow War star talked to Instagram to address the criticism he received upon sharing his original post, revealing that he went to bed last night really kind of upset and depressed, but found solace in his Christian faith. And good on you, Chris Pratt. I went to bed last night really kind of upset and depressed. I woke up feeling crappy and did not want to work out, said Pratt. I knew though that if I put on my Christian music playlist, got out in the woods and ran, that I'd feel better, but I just didn't want to. And I did it anyways, and gosh, I was right. It felt amazing. Pratt explained, I got got out into the woods, got my blood pumping, and God was like, sat down right there next to me, adding that he doesn't get emotional that often, but I actually got emotional out in the woods. I just felt like there was another in the fire standing next to me. He declared going on to explain that this particular line was one of the songs in the Christian music playlist he was listening to. So I just want to say all glory to God, and if you feel down today, maybe get some exercise, maybe listen to some good worship music, or get the word in, basically because it helped, it really helped me this morning. Really good messages from Chris Pratt, he's not denouncing anyone, not putting anyone down, not like these social justice revengers. Of course this is far from the first time Pratt has found himself in the crosshairs of the woke mob. In 2019, outraged fans descended upon Pratt after actress Ellen Page accused him and his church, the Zoe Church of Los Angeles, of being anti-LGBTQ. Okay, um, but his church is infamously anti-LGBTQ, so maybe address that too, said Page, retweeting an article by The Hollywood Reporter in which they covered an appearance by Pratt on The Late Show with Stephen Colbert where he discussed his faith. Pace, who has since come out as transgender, doubled down in a follow-up tweet writing, If you're a famous actor and you belong to an organisation that hates a certain group of people, don't be surprised if someone simply wonders why it's not addressed. Although Page didn't actually give out any evidence that they were anti-LGBTQ. Being anti-LGBTQ is wrong. There aren't two sides. The damage it causes is serious. A severe full stop. Sending love to all. Um, In an Instagram story, Pat responded to Page stating, it has recently been suggested that I belong to a church which hates a certain group of people and is infamously anti-LGBTQ. Nothing could be further from the truth. I go to a church that opens their doors to absolutely everyone. Despite what the Bible says about divorce, my church community was there for me every step of the way, never judging, just gracefully, gracefully accompanying me on my walk. The actual explained, they helped me tremendously offering love and support. It is what I've seen them do for others on countless occasions, regardless of sexual orientation, race, or gender. So, Ellen Page, all these social social justice revengers, they probably don't have a clue. They've probably never actually been to the to the church at all. They never talk to anyone at the church at all. They just want to spread their hate and get revenge on people that they don't like. He further clarified, my values define who I am. I need less hate in the world, not more. I'm a man who believes that everyone is entitled to love who they want, free from judgment of their fellow man. Not what these social justice revengers want. They want more hate in the world. They want people to hate the people they don't like. That is what they are all about. They are all about hate. Anyway, I'm so glad for Chris Pratt that he's got over this um, and they weren't able to cancel him. I really like him as an actor. I like his movies, even though some of them are a bit crappy, like The Tomorrow War. I enjoyed The Tomorrow War. It just wasn't a great story or anything. Um, uh, the Jurassic Park movies is in. Not great movies at all, but you know some people might like it, which is perfectly fine. So good on you, Chris Pratt. Um, I like your Christian views. I'm not Christian at all, but I really like what you've been saying. You're not um, trying to put anyone down, um, and you're open to everyone, not like these social justice revengers. Anyway, let me know what you think about Chris Pat's comments. Did you think that what he said was really bad, or do you th- feel like me that they're just a normal thing that most people would say, um, and these people just took it the wrong way? 
Really love to hear your comments or see your comments. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like the video, you're welcome to give it a thumbs down. And um, if you like my content, please subscribe as it just helps YouTube to notice my content. And hopefully I will catch you in the next video.